I never really um, kind of like aspired to be a DJ. My whole life, I've, I wanted to be an actor. That's sort of like, that's my goal. And um, I saw what happened was like I saw my cousin when I was like 15. I saw my cousin um, mixing in his room, and he was just jamming. He was just like having the time of his life, going like that, just, just getting up off his chair, just like stabbing the keyboard, you know, just like super getting into it, right? And I was just like, oh my god, that's so sick what he's doing. So I looked over his shoulder, and I saw like I don't know some crappy, you know. PC DJ, like really amateur software. So I downloaded it and just practiced, and then it just sort of like it just sort of went from there. No, that's my, actually Amir is one of my um, actually closest friends. To be you know be real, we we don't always talk on a on a professional level. We talk as boys. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know beyond the DJ sets. It's like honestly, I can't remember a week that has went by since me and Amir have been knowing each other that we didn't speak. If, if it wasn't for DJ Blacklight in the open forum, yeah. on Tuesday nights at Hurricane Alley, I don't know where I would be right now. So uh, the general manager at the time, Ty, came up to me and said, hey man, I got this guy that want to open up for you, would it be cool? And I was like, yeah, can I meet him first? So I met Amir and um, I don't know, Amir just got this vibe about him. You know what I'm saying? That when you meet him, that it's like, he cool as hell. You know? And I went with the stage for him. And we had this, we had this incredible dynamic me and him. Amir's my man. It's like I helped him get his first gig. And uh, to be honest with you, to watch like where he's at now, to see him break into another market, which is El Paso, like I'm like impressed, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been in this game for a while, and to watch him take the steps, but take giant steps, it all leads to that. And then when you start looking at the big picture, he's piling everything up to get to that acting plateau. So I think it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen for him, but the area is basically dictating to him what he can and cannot do. But all in all, I'm really happy with where I am right now in my life. So I think it's an okay thing that I was born here in Cruz. Yeah. I look at it as being a big fish in a small pond and growing naturally to be able to swim in the next biggest pond. Yeah. So like, oh, this kid's one of the best in Cruces. Cool. Let's give him a shot in El Paso. Oh, this kid's one of the best in El Paso. Let's give him a shot in Scottsdale. Phoenix, let's give him a shot in LA. Oh, let's get to one of the best in Phoenix in LA. Top five Phoenix in LA, let's give him a shot in Vegas. Vegas is where the actors go to party, I think. So if I can be partying with them, like, oh, the DJ just bought you a bottle. Like, Shia LaBeouf, what's up? Like, you know? Yeah. Hey, I got you, man, you know? Oh, it's very sweet, hey, text me, you know? Oh, yeah, okay, you got a Shia LaBeouf, no problem. You know what I mean? Saudi Arabia and they know that whatever I'm gonna do I'm gonna do it 100% and they know I'm gonna do, be the best at it but they don't want me to be a DJ for the rest of my life they know that this is just sort of like an outlet for me to get to acting and they think if I stick to that then I'll be successful I think honestly and I'm not gonna tell his secret I think the DJ is his way of going around what he need to do to come back to act but I think he'll make it man I mean nothing he's really put his heart to that he really wanted to do that he hasn't done yet. Yeah. Which, like I said, is another kudos to him. I don't see myself just sort of going um, to audition after audition after audition. Yeah. I see myself, um, oh, you need a kid that can grow a beard in a day and speak Arabic. Oh, I know a guy. He's great. You know, it's fun to work with, whatever. He just so happens to be a DJ. Let me call and see if he can get the weekend off. Hey, we need you to come audition for a part. That's how I see myself making it, you know? Right now, um, it look like they're trying to get me in Vegas. So if they get me in Las Vegas, my goal, you know, as me and Amir's always talk, was to play in Vegas. And now that my goal has come true first, as a friend, it should be my job to help my friend 
get to where I'm at. He's gonna be moving to Vegas soon, and he said, you know, as soon as I get there, I'm gonna toss you a rope, get ready. But so, I mean, but I think Amir has the skills to, to be with those guys, and sometimes it takes the right timing and knowing the right person. And if I get up there, I'm gonna be the right person to know them. It's all about the network, you know, it's all about your network. Yeah. And honestly, a majority of this business is not about what you know, it's about who you know. Because if you know the right people, man, you could be like the worst DJ in the world and end up in a place like Vegas. Mm -hmm. But I think right now, with where we're at and what Amir is doing, it's been an excellent thing because think about it. If he wasn't DJing, would he have been a model? <laughs> and you know what I'm saying? And it's like he's just like a good overall person. And usually with good overall people, in the long run, they win. And, and I think that guy is like right now is about to win. You know, people's priorities change. Yeah. Um, Obviously, family is always number one, but right now I'm just sort of driven by uh, by my career and what I'm going to be doing for the rest of my life, planning it. I could go back to Saudi Arabia or Dubai or whatever and get a job with my uncle or my pop, you know, whatever. But I had to chase a dream, you know? Yeah. 